the second video regards the LS130. Uh, this will be listing the parts that I'm going to chuck in it. Uh, you may see my other video running down the frame, thicknesses and what the thought of it. Everything the same as that. Got the Diatone V5 power board, power distribution board in there. Um, going to be using that. Won't be using the landing legs. Okay. Going to be running XM10 speed controllers with 1306 3100kb motors. My flight controller will be a run of a mill Nase 32. I have some 3045 props to run on there and all the other usual hardware, battery strap, a 5 volt buzzer, uh, all the necessary mounting hardware for the motors, my receiver, I'll probably decase this for the time being until my Tyrannus arrives, um, all the wiring for the plug controller, and servo cables, dupont cables and a host of other things. Let's get them with a build. Here's a quick tip for using these things I saw on Banggood. They're two to three pound for a pack of twenty. They are 240, 250 volt rated quick connectors. You just push them down, and you slide wires in. So to save soldering and unsoldering and stuff. Just wire up my motors like this to my speed controllers with a battery. Wire this in to a receiver on my pre-bound receiver on the throttle channel. Connect to it. Connect to battery. Check the orientation of the motor. I've done all four motors to the correct orientation for the prop nuts so they won't come spinning off when they spin up and all I've got to do now is cut the heat shrink off, cut the wires to length and solder in place of where they joined. This saved me an absolute massive chunk of time doing it this way instead of soldering them together and figuring out which was what and soldering then redoing them. Get yourself some of these. Okay, so things are progressing. Base plate all stripped down, ready. All the motors are soldered, reheat shrinks, ready to go on the power board. Correct orientation. Power board all tinned up. XT60, JST for the video transmitter. And off to the camera. I'll just plug in so I can disable it if I need to. Um, 5 volt to power the plug controller. That'll do for VBAT sensing. Onto the nays. That's all soldered up. Done the top pins just for ease of access for Bluetooth, VBAT, uh, piezo buzzer. And I've done right angled just slightly not flush so easy to get in and out okay and the last bit is a custom 5 volt piezo buzzer all right time to solder it to the ESCs all soldered up time to put it on the frame Lock tight these in. So some more progress. There you go. Motors on, speed controllers on, power board, a bit more height for the frame uh, the flight controller pillars, but sort of takes it in line with where the propellers will be. So it should rotate about that point. 
hopefully. That's for the FPV. It's got a buzzer, VBAT monitoring. Put some feet on it. There you go.